What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim back with another episode of Someone's Listening. And look, I don't care what y'all say. Rick Ross folded Drake like a damn folding chair. Rick Ross snapped on the latest. This is breaking news. So Drake dropped a diss record, right? Dissing, uh, let me, let, me, let me go back and let me go back. Drake dropped a diss record, uh, dissing, uh, dissing, uh, responding back. He responds to, uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, drop and give me 50. He responded, uh, he responded to he responded to Kendrick Lamar. He responded to Kendrick Lamar, right? He responded to Kendrick Lamar, but he also went in at ASAP Rocky and he threw a jab at at uh at Rick Ross. But Rick Ross said, "Nah, nigga, oh, I need about I need to get on the track. I'm not gonna let this 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 curly head, so glow having head ass." Clown me talking about me being an officer. Oh, that was in the nineties. I was. Uh, I'm Rick Ross party sitting around eating a Big Mac, going, oh, I'm, I'm about to go at this nigga. And the Big Mac I wanted didn't have double cheese. Oh, and he's like, he had enough, so he went at Dr- man. He killed Drake. Uh, he. Kill Drake. This is hip hop overload right now. So Drake, res- Drake response was push ups, drop and give me fifty. Right? Said he got me rapping like I'm fifty. Right? Then was, you know Drake threw some jabs at Rick Ross. He he responded. He responded to about a, a good about fifteen about fifteen rappers. Right? Just went in, but Ross. <laughs> Bro, Ross came in and just Ross killed him. I don't care, people. You know, I, you know, it is what it is. Ross, Ross killed him. Now Drake made Drake did say a lot of a lot of things, right? That I that I that I liked, it, right? Drake said in the drop and give me fifty record. Drake said, you know, he's been holding y'all. He basically he he's been keeping y'all career alive. Y'all been coming to me for features. I'm keeping y'all career alive, basically, right? And 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 you know, he threw that shot at Rick Ross, saying, uh, I'm gonna cuff you like I'm like I'm Ricky. You know, making the jab, saying that Ricky was a correct Rick, Rick Rick Ross was a correctional officer back in the early '90s, right? Turned rapper, right? And so that's been the running joke when it came to Rick Ross. And Rick Ross is, you know, at this point getting tired of it, and um, 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 and you know, so Rick Ross is that's the running joke, Rick Ross, right? And now Rick Ross has responded in the new. He just respond, bro, and that you know, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Now, I, I cannot play the record because every time I try to play a record, respond to a song, YouTube uh, gives me a, um, a, 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 what you call it, a um, strike, right? And I ain't trying to keep get, I ain't trying to do strikes on here, right? So I got to just read off the lyrics, okay? Rick Ross said, uh, fish tanks and marble floors living in big, living in, now I'm, 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 I'm repeating this. You got to actually listen to the record, right? Rick Ross said, Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laughing till they hit my, until they hit my official, get hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from the pen and pad. Ghost riders, they get to floss what you could have had. Record labels taking loss, taking losses. Are you in your bag? You a worker waiting on to chart? Don't make me laugh. Rick Ross said, um. Uh, Hold on. Enter you niggas money ready to die. B.I.G. give a fuck if you. Man, Rick. He kept calling Drake a white boy. Oh, this is where he went in on Drake. Like, he, the whole song was dissing Drake, but this is where he said, mm, 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 giving, giving Drake uppercuts. Uh, he said, 
always ran another nigga's always ran to another nigga had to write your had to had to write your groove floss is copy flows is copy and paste we just gave you the juice always ran to another nigga who who write your grooves flow copy and paste we just had the we just gave you your juice another white boy at the park want to hang with the crew mm. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mil for the crib. Where you want me to stay? Oh. <laughs> Man I don't care what y'all say. Ross snatched and. Ross ate Drake on this record. Now Drake. The Drake response right. The Drake. The Drake push ups and give me 50, right? It was typical Drake. I like Drake. Drake Drake killed Kendrick Lamar. He also mentioned J. Cole, saying, you know, never, you know, he, he mentioned J. Cole, but he wasn't dissing J. Cole. He wasn't dissing J. Cole. He just, you know, mentioned J. Cole's name. And um, you know, um, but you know. But Ross can man, Ross killed Drake. Ross killed. I don't care what y'all, Ross killed him. Then Ross also said, he said, uh, got more money than you, what you want me to say, 50 mil for the crib, where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got pictures to paint. Let you DM my hoe, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs. It was good. It was good for your face. Now, bitch nigga is on. Ain't no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Killed you nigga for free. Did it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking the records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Man, what? Man, come on, man. And then he played, then uh, uh, Ross also played in the song where Drake was talking to a crowd saying, I got a lot of respect for you rappers, but I got one guy, he's my favorite person to rap on any song. His name is Rick Ross. And people in the back yelling. <laughs> and, then, and then Ross said, at the end of the record, he said, you ain't never want, he said, you ain't never want to be a nigga anyways, nigga. That's why you had an operation to make your nose smaller than your father's nose, nigga. I unfollowed you, nigga. Because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You sent the police, nigga. Hating on the dogs project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga. When we were making them earlier records, nigga. That wasn't the same. He said... That wasn't the same white boy we were making them records, nigga. When you were happy to be around niggas, seeing niggas hold them sticks, yeah. You old motherfucker, stunning your life, nigga. Got Weezy some, give Weezy some more money, nigga. Get rap a lot, some more than the money, nigga. White boy. Yeah, biggest is Rose, nigga. We can do it however you want to do it, where you want to do it any other time. I'm ready, nigga. I'm ready, white boy. Oh. Man, come on, y'all. Yo, this is hip-hop. This is what I like in rap. Okay. And I blame Future, right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say this. I blame Future. Future. Fe I believe Future secretly hating on Drake. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I believe Future is plotting all this to go at everybody's going in on Drake. Everybody all of a sudden is going on a Drake the weekend. Damn, he's out here singing women out their panties, but he got time to make a diss record for Drake. Come on, man. But, yo, but Ross am Ross ate Drake. Man, I'm sorry to say it. Ross killed him. He killed him. When 50 Cent was going in on Rick Ross at the time, they was they had their beef, right? 50 Cent around this time was falling off when it comes to rap. Rap, right? 
Not saying 50, 50 can't rap, but he was just falling off. It was his time he was falling off. He was into television and stuff like that, right? Now, Ross was just coming at him with with records, right? I mean, just killing 50 with records. 50 Cent was doing some funny pimp, pimping curly, trying to be like funny on Instagram or, or Facebook, or whatever you were doing, Twitter and stuff. But Ross was just killing him with straight records. And that's why Ross won that beef over 50 Cent. But Ross won this one, y'all. Man, this is hip hop and I love it. It's a lot of beef and I love it. Cook him on the grill, Ross. But let me know what you guys think about this video. I, man, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. I had to run back down to where I live to get on the mic to say, oh my goodness, I was listening to this record swerving in lanes. My lady, she in the passionate seats trying to sleep. I'm going, this is hard. But let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Slim. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Appreciate you for listening on the Always uh, the Someone's Listening podcast. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.